Hi, I'm Annabelle, I work at the LMB, and today I'll be showing you an average day in the life of a PhD student. My work looks at fruit fly embryos, specifically what genes are expressed in a small patch of cells that will eventually form tubes. I want to know what genes are in this patch of cells and what those genes are doing. In my project, I frequently use a technique called in situ hybridization to find out where a gene is expressed in embryos. You can think of this experiment a bit like making a glitter painting. First, you add glue. The glue I use are small pieces of RNA which will only stick when the gene I'm looking for is being expressed. Then you remove the glue from places where it hasn't stuck, or in my case where the gene isn't being expressed. Then you add glitter. In my case, this is a probe with a fluorophore attached, and this allows me to visualise where my probes are bound and where my gene is expressed. We let that sit for a quick lunch break. And then I do one more wash to make sure the signal is specific, and then we can mount the embryos ready for the microscope. No! 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 On the microscope, I can start to choose which embryos I want to image. I choose embryos based on the point of development they're in and what position they're in. Once I have my images, I can post-process them to make sure the images are crisp and bright. And without further ado, here is one of the images I took today. Here are the two patches of cells from the glitter painting example. I also use other techniques which can outline the cells and also to tag where the nuclei are. I can put them all into the same image and I'm left with a pretty nice image of when and where this particular gene is expressed. One of the aims of my project is to build up a database of different genes to map which genes are expressed and where right before tubes begin to form. And if I'm lucky, some days I get to look at genes which don't have official names yet. That means I might be the first person in the world to know where these genes are expressed in the embryo. And if I'm even luckier and that gene does something cool, I might be able to name it in the future. If you were allowed to name a gene, what would you call it? In the fly world, people have got pretty creative with it. Thank you so much for tagging along today. I hope you learned something and now I have to go and clean up all that glitter.